utilising design activism, the art of creating a counter-narrative, as a tool in landscape architectural practice enables designers to connect people to the imminent issues facing communities locally, nationally and globally. Situated on the shores of Victoria's Port Phillip Bay, Cleve Gardens provides a contextual canvas for the extremely prevalent issue of global sea level rise, a phenomenon both current and rooted in cultural history. My vision for this site is to apply activism by design in conjunction with land art and landscape architectural practices to bring cognitive awareness of this issue to people within St Kilda and wider Melbourne whilst linking to the culturally diverse community and its understanding of past and future. The design implements a sandscape within Cleave Gardens, as well as a thin indicative line at the point at which sea levels will rise to by 2100. It will establish an interruption to the flow of one's journey through creating various sensorial elements, including water, reeds, and textured concrete tiles within the context of St Kilda. Western cultures with a focus on individualism see the land as a utilitarian resource and view history as the span of one person's life with fuzzy recognition as far back as Cook and projecting a future as far forward as the next political term. In this context, response to the certainty that sea levels will rise by 2.7 metres over the next 80 years elicits a complacency that defies the impending impact. By contrast, Aboriginal culture holds a spoken history that spans millennia. Melbourne-based tribes tell of a time when Port Phillip Bay was land, hunted for plentiful kangaroo and the breaking through of the sea to slowly create the port. A story confirmed by, or confirming of, Western science. This history tells of a continuum, not a stagnation at its current level. Future and history intertwined. As a symbol and symptom of the Anthropocene era, as well as a social, cultural and environmental focal point within the St Kilda and Melbourne communities, Cleave Gardens is intertwined into the broader issue of sea level rise. Cleave Gardens is a complex space of turbulent histories, which features as a site of both belonging and disconnection to the land at St Kilda. This is representative of the land now developed into Australian cities and towns, whereby Indigenous Australians have been removed from the site, along with the natural state of the land, through the European view that the land should be utilised for agricultural purposes. However, Despite large discrepancies in understanding and perspective, the land, its history, and the people who utilise it are intrinsically linked to the waters of Port Phillip Bay, past, present, and future. This project highlights that Cleave Garden's social, cultural, and ecological spheres will alter and change again and again as history continues. In a couple of hundred years, this conversation will become irrelevant as Cleave Gardens will have progressed from the park space that it is today into a sandy foredune and then an underwater seascape. We, as landscape architects, cannot predict the future. However, we can design in a way that shocks and educates in order to portray the value of the land that we stand on and to open the conversation on ways to preserve the future of spaces such as Cleave Gardens. Interrupting Flow is a piece of design activism, situating it within the contemporary design and social movement, which explores the dynamics of design in relation to the complex interrelationship between theory, communities and urban futures. Such designs seek to propose alternative futures where conflict within key stakeholders has previously paralysed future progress. Wooten Road Reserve on Melbourne's western fringe highlights this movement through re-implementing the once vast native grasslands of Victoria, which were existing prior to British settlement. Only 1% of the original grasslands remain today having fallen victim to the perception that this ecosystem is unattractive and void of conservational value. 
The reserve provides a unique space which doesn't conform to landscape architectural trends, but instead makes a bold statement acting as a piece of activism design and highlighting the impact that European perceptions of the natural environment have on broader ecosystems. Taking inspiration from such precedents, Interrupting Flow seeks to initiate conversation and highlight the impact of our lifestyle on the environment and how that may affect our future. Focusing on Cleve Gardens in the immediate term, the vision for this project is to introduce a series of linked elements throughout St Kilda. Interrupting Flow is a two-part design. The first is an indicative line that creates a physical barrier and sensory change throughout St Kilda's waterfront areas and especially prominent in Katani Gardens as a visual indicator of the future sea level rise. It centres on a single line, small in width, to draw attention to the larger issue that it represents. Seeking to negate formal landscape architectural practices and instead placing primary focus outwardly from the design rather than inwards as seen in traditional park and square spaces. This line becomes most evident adjacent to Cleve Gardens. The second aspect of the design focuses on the effect of this water level indicator on Cleve Gardens itself as it becomes the foredune to the new waterfront. A sandscape will be implemented within Cleve Gardens as a new shoreline, placing the observer on the vantage point to look down on the new Katani waterline, thereby evoking an experiential recognition of the new reality. The effect of the sand moving across the site and into adjoining areas displays how this ecosystem is in constant flux. Although activism and provocation are rarely utilised by landscape architects within the field, they can provide the means to harness and leverage social influence. Artistic and creative designs can capture the imagination, influencing the ways in which patrons are seeing, being, feeling and understanding. Interrupting flow is a single step in the direction of establishing practical solutions towards a 2100 St Kilda and wider Melbourne. Awareness is the first step in initiating the conversation regarding the issue, with further design solutions to continue in an attempt to face the water.